TB12, otherwise known as Tom Brady, has made headlines in the sports world and thus has made a segment on our show. Now, I want to go ahead and say to add context for our audience members, this analysis, if you will, comes from somebody who hated Tom Brady in his Patriot saga, uh, purely because he was just so dominant and, you know, seemingly winning every year. Um, and now that person has grown up to appreciate greatness and is enjoying seeing the best of the best compete at a high level, as well as prove naysayers wrong. And with that, I'm referring to the Buck Saga and their championship winning year. Now, let's break this down by the numbers. Last year, he had around 5k yards passing, 43 touchdowns, led the league in passing touchdowns, and was second to Justin Herbert in passing yards, uh, which is not a bad season in my eyes. Now, the streets were talking and they were saying things like, oh, don't count out Tom Brady. Oh, TB12 has got to run it back next year. And, you know, to their credit, I said the same thing, because let's be honest, up to that season ending game, Tom still had that clutch gene in his DNA. But, you know, what once was a raging fire has turned into a smoldering bed of coal, especially working with a team that wasn't at its full potential as a cohesive unit. Julio Jones out with a knee injury, offensive linemen in and out of rotation due to injuries, and defensively, the secondary wasn't up to par in their performances compared to their Super Bowl winning year. I think TB12 is strongly considering retirement in the back of his mind. But that competitive edge in him still doesn't want to go out on a sour note. And we all know his situation. I'm going to bring up a gaming analogy because I think our audience can relate to it. Most of them anyway. But we all know when you're playing Call of Duty and it's a sweaty, non-competitive session and you're on a losing streak. Or you just lost a close game due to input lag or a bad connection or somehow your controller just randomly dies you know what the excuse is don't give me that crap and you just can't put the game down because you can't stand taking L's in that particular fashion so you grind it out till you get that win late nights in the game room in the lobbies tolerating trash talk all night just to get that win. That's what TB12 is facing right now. Now you can go on and say, maybe he's heading down a rabbit hole for another Super Bowl ring. But I think he should hang it up. You've been the most dominant figure in the sport by far. You've seen and done everything. And your legacy in the NFL world hasn't been damaged to the point of no return. Isaiah? Yeah, man. Uh, I'm going to offer a different perspective. Okay. Uh, if he does come back, I don't see him coming back to Tampa Bay. Uh, now, let's get this out of the way, man. Um, as you said, offensive line was banged up. Yep. Hence, you know, part of the reason why they finished 24 in pass block win rates. The secondary woes continued. Uh, no play action. And Tampa Bay had predictable run game schemes. All throughout the season. Mm -hmm. uh, this is what Tom Brady had to work with. You know, and his performance wasn't up to par either this season. No doubt, no doubt. Now, I'm not going to try and predict where Tom Brady ends up, you know, if he returns. But I will say, he can't be in a toxic environment. Mm. And he needs a team that will play around him in his declining state. He needs an offensive line. He needs a good offensive coordinator that will work with him. And work within the team and their skill sets. You know, I personally don't like the move to fire By Byron Leftwich, mm -hmm. as it felt rushed to me. But, you know, he had some questionable calls, you know, as every coach does. But, you know, and here's the side point, man. One thing that I picked up is that the NFL teams lack the patience to work with coaches long term. You know, because they're so stressed out on getting to the Super Bowl every year. Mm. And they drop coaches like dropping a fly out of the air with a fly swatter when they don't see results immediately in the short term. Okay, yeah. 
coaches have to adjust to different players, different player skill sets, and attempt to establish a culture and foundation of winning in the locker room. Mm -hmm. That takes time. Yes. That is a long-term process. But I digress. These organizations are supposed to be above the instant gratification mentality of the fans. Mm. Especially the ones that hide behind their computer screens. Mm, let them know. And are on Twitter. Let them know. But that's another issue. And if problems arrive, the first thought is, fire the coach slash coordinator. The NFL's a mess, man. The NFL's a mess. But who am I to judge, man? I just watch the games on Sunday, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so it is what it is, man. Uh, I don't see Tom Brady staying in Tampa Bay. But, you know, part of me doesn't want him to leave just because, you know, he still is TB12, man. He still has that it factor. He's still box office. Even though it has simmered a little bit uh, throughout the years. Um, it's hard to imagine a season without him, man. Tom Brady, should he stay or should he go? The NFL world needs to know. Find out on the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. Let me stop. This guy, man. <laughs> wow. What an outro, man.